Welcome viewers, YouTubers, and friends alike. This is Mango Schmoother Man with a channel update. First one ever, mainly because I got the computer to do the thing I wanted it to. So I'm going to be doing another update. Um, it's going to be kind of a chat with Steffi, kind of like how the channel's going. Now I'm in, in the middle of a move, so I been having to rearrange a schedule a lot i know the channel just started picking up steam recently but i'm planning on doing so much more like a lot more so many different games i'd like to play i'm getting a new graphics card i'm going to be probably doing shadow of mordor um the new game coming out here so i'm excited for that that's going to be amazing because because i've played the first one with my friend dylan on his account and I really really enjoyed it but that was back when I didn't have an Xbox one I wasn't recording so I don't see the point in playing through it all since I've kind of already went through a lot of it now I may backtrack and play it but honestly I don't see the reason within two coming out that has all the stuff including the nemesis system and more um, I'm also picking up Titanfall which you guys might know that since I'm uh, gonna be putting up some videos in a couple weeks here but once I get settled into the new place I'm going to actually be doing a lot more streams, uh, streaming with Arian, um, you know, just me and him, Broski's just playing some games that he kind of wants to play and me and him play a lot of the same stuff, but I get really bored by myself when I play those games because I don't know what to do or say. It's fun to have conversation. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, and I would like to continue with more streams with Steffi and Chelsea, you know, Chelsea's super busy. So she's very hard to work with and, uh, well, not hard to work with <laughs> her, it's her schedule because she's always busy, always taking on these projects. She's a graphic designer. She's actually the one that does all the images and stuff. Um, when she sits down, she has a lot more time. Me and her are going to go over redesigning everything. Although she's really happy with the way the Mango Man logo has just been changed. So you'll actually know what I mean. Especially if you check one, uh, if you knew the videos earlier, because she started putting the thumbnails as the new logo, and I didn't catch it, so my old stuff might not even exist anymore. Ta da! That's okay, because I do like the new one. Um, so once I'm moved, I'm going to be doing a lot more recordings. Uh, I want to do upload almost every day, if I can. Probably leave, leave Sundays as a down day. Um, other things, I, I, I am trying to get more, uh, more friends involved. I do have friends who are wanting to do their own YouTube channels, but I have since not even known if they have or not. So I'm going to be trying to hunt them down. And if I can, I wouldn't mind getting them in on the streams, especially since Steffi has a list of games that she would like to stream and play. And among them is Titanfall 2, which is currently downloading. So I'm going to be doing a whole like episode series of the story mode because i really like story ah ha, ha. i like a good shooter with story mode and then we're going to uh uh live stream multiplayer or some other stuff now she does have several games that she wants to play so i'll keep those in wraps um but know that she's a fan of first person shooters her and jake actually so occasionally her boyfriend jake ends up getting on the xbox and uh the matches take a lot longer than anticipated aside from that things in the works i've got arc survival i have the money put down to already rent a server so i'm going to be doing a lot more live streams and then maybe like episodic situation where we go to do specific goals in mind and then i'll probably stream the in-between sections when we're just being goofballs so that's really fun um there's that uh as i get more friends into there into the server and more of them want to actually play uh it may grow so i might end up with a bigger server with a lot more fun but that depends um i am contemplating on putting on a patreon so this way i could get more support for the channel people can play um and play on some of the servers that i would like to uh host with uh, some friends of mine, I'd be looking at having them moderate, but I, you know, need to have people help me with that, you know, and it costs money and their time. Now, initially, my friends are going to probably be the volunteers. Uh, thank you for anybody and everybody who has uh, already put up the offer to moderate my chats and um, admin my server so far. 
Um, the server and the chat is not nearly big enough for needing either of those, but thanks again so much anyways. It is just, it's just a great feeling to know that people, you know, e even though I'm just starting, you know, just want to help out. And it's just great. Just give me some time, let us get the channel built, and I, will, I may be calling on you eventually because I might need some help. Uh, doing this all by myself, especially since I plan on hopefully ho hosting multiple servers for different games, will be, uh, well, quite busy. So, uh, Ark, um, Space Engineers is another game I've been a fan of. Don't, well, I'm not really good at it, uh, mainly because my computer can handle it, but I can't record it because my computer can't handle it. So, graphics card should be able to help me out with that. I need to get a bump in RAM to help with my video editing, but that's totally fine. It, I don't even really need that. I just can't record and edit their export at the same time. So that's cool. Um, so I've got Arc Space Engineers. Then I got Medieval Engineers, which I would love to try out. That would be great. Even if I'm not hosting the server, I would like to find a server and make some friends there because just the time and the effort and the community is something that's great and I, and I like I'd like to find myself into a community of people who like to play but mind you since I'm not doing just one game like uh, one youtuber I watch he does like all arc and maybe a couple others but that's like his bread and butter is arc and I don't want to get myself into one game I want to be able to branch out and play everything and with the new computer upgrades I would like to do more indie games or you know just general fun things the smaller stuff that you know i would like to little tiny indie platformers and stuff uh, however there is other things chelsea wants me to play horror games which i hate a lot now i don't hate them in the sense of oh they're terrible i hate them in the sense that they make me you know scream it's actually so bad that Chelsea like would not sit on the couch with me if I was watching Markiplier play them because it scared the crud out of me and she thinks it's going to be hilarious which it may be and I just ugh, get shivers thinking about it but that is also in the works now I will post kind of a short summary of this in the description so if I'm kind of bouncing around too much and you kind of don't really get the cohesive idea of it all um, it'll be all down there. Um, list of games in the works are as followed. Ark Survival. Medieval Engineers. Space Engineers. Horror games that Chelsea wants me to scare the crap out of myself with. Titanfall. I think it was Battlefield? Or is it Battlefront? Probably Battlefront. Or both. Depends on what Steffi sends me. Um, possibly look into some Divinity 2, Original Sin. That is something Arian may look into uh, if he wants to. We'll play that. Um, I know somebody mentioned my stream, Plants vs. Zombies? Probably. I might. I've never been able to play that before. Probably because I've never really downloaded it. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn. The new Shadow of Mordor. Prey. Well, I can't think of any other games. <laughs> but that's no worries. Um, that's already a lot. So I've got a nice size list. Uh, it may eventually come down to the point where I just kind of surf and find games that I would like to play. Uh, I want to do a lot of episode series, and I'm thinking about having them set to designated days, which would be nice because it's not just when will it be uploaded. It, there, it will be on a schedule. Um, and it's a schedule that I would like to be able to post and I can't really figure out where to post it, <laughs> but, uh, I'd like to be able to schedule the videos out a month in advance as to what I'm going to be, uh, recording and editing. Um, now when I'm coming to the end of one game and the beginning of another, they might kind of run into one another, like skew a little bit and mainly because one opening story modes or storylines at the beginning of games it sometimes it runs you 45 minutes or so at the beginning so I may have to chop it up so this way I don't exceed my 25 to 30 minute range I don't want to go any more than that I'd like to sit around 20 to 25 because well not a lot of people want to watch a whole 30 minute thing they apparently like 20 minutes which is okay you know 
I get it. I like short videos too. Um, but I'm also a huge fan of story and keeping track of that and placing it into there. And sometimes I have to chop some bits to speed it up in certain missions for some games. And other times I just keep it all in there so we can enjoy it. Uh, I guess I just like the feel for the characters. Um, now with all that, I'd like to say that I am having an absolute blast. I can't wait to start making more content and stream more frequently. Uh, it'd be fun and it will be fun. Okay. I know it will because I've got awesome people that pop into the stream and, you know, chat with me, which is great. I love that. Just like, uh, uh, just like when uh, I play Slime Rancher or, say, when I play Path of Exile. Now, I do need to point this out. The content kind of wavers. Sometimes I worry about the content being too strong, and other times I don't mind that. But I will be playing more games, more, you know, T-rated games. This channel is going to probably be T-rated. Um, primarily because there will be violence, fantasy violence, blood, um, swearing mainly in the games, probably not for me, not if I'm playing something like Slime Rancher. Um, why? Because it's just so adorable. But, uh, you know, if I'm playing more more games with a lot more of a difficult setting, I, I like I said, I'm trying to stray away from the excessive swearing because I don't need the F-bomb every other word, to be honest with you. Um, also, suggestive themes, depending on the game. I know Sleeping Dogs is a good one. GTA is another. I'm not going to be playing GTA on my thing. Why? Because everybody has played it by now. My current goal for the channel is I want to hit 10K views in a month, which is a tall order, to be honest with you. But I feel like I can make it. I feel like it can be done. I'm going to be hitting the editing hard doing a lot of that with a lot more live streams so this way we can get to that 10k goal by the end of the month i will settle for five but i want 10 and the reason is because in this way a the channel's monetized b a lot more validized because even though it's not making much money at that point to be honest with you it's still a step in the right direction that means i can do it even at 5k that means it can be done and if not just I, I got we, you know, I have friends. And if they're not going to be editing, they'll be playing the game with me, which is great because we'll get to hang out twice as much, if not more. And I'm just so thankful that everybody has commented, liked, and supported me so much. And it's just, it's a great feeling. It really is. And I want to thank everybody so much. This is a lot of work, a lot more than one would say. You know, if you buckle down and do it, you can get it done pretty quick. But the amount that I want to do, I want to do a video every single day, and then I would like to get more. I would like to do that and then live stream on top of it, which is an extreme tall order when it comes to, you know, how long it takes to shoot, how long it takes to edit, um, and then getting them out there. I can edit my videos within about 45 minutes to an hour or less depending on how I shoot, but I feel like my editing is missing something. It, it's not it's just not interesting for some reason to me. Um, I feel like watching it would be interesting, but I feel like it could be better. So I have been trying to look up some ideas, um, you know, maybe put some words on the screen, um, but that takes way longer than you'd think. I'm not even joking. It takes some serious time to put the words on there to match the time and everything which is fine and all because I don't mind putting the extra effort in, but it's still a lot of time, <laughs> especially since it started as a hobby and I'm trying to really press this thing and get, get it going right. In other news, I'm going to be going to Minneapolis. We're going to Shakopee for Renaissance Festival. I'm super excited. It's going to be great. I love going. I can't wait to take a bunch of pictures and upload them um i will also want to do a channel update video with steffi and chelsea chelsea might not allow me to put her in videos because she likes to be the faceless which is weird but because she wants me to have my face on the web 
Um, I think that's just because I'm the mango man. Uh, but Steffi, uh, I'd like to get her sit down, chat with her, kind of get some of her opinions, ideas, directions that she kind of wants to see me take the channel and what she wants to do with the channel because she's been helping out a lot. She likes playing games quite a bit, um, but she also has to go through college and all that stuff. So she's quite the busy person too. That and work, holy smokes. So I want to play some games that she wants to play, you know, things that she enjoys like Titanfall because it'd be more fun. She'd enjoy it. I'd enjoy it. It'd be fun. We can live stream. Um, a lot of the videos with her are probably going to be actually everything with her is going to probably be live stream. Um, unless we can do some shenanigans with multiplayer for a game that I can cut down. Um, but initially it'll probably be a lot of the first person shooters, which is what, uh, I know she likes playing along with some weird indie games that she has in mind, some fairly profound ones that I've heard. And she's kind of explained the basis of them and I'm intrigued and can't wait to try some of those. She's a super deep individual. And I know all of you who've been seeing the streams with her actually really like, you know, really like her cause she's a fairly interesting individual. Uh, and I know some of you like Chelsea too, who, um, Fairly quiet on the uptake, when it, uh, but she uh, she likes to talk crap. <laughs> so I always get to have fun with that. Um, and that does it for this update. I want to thank, again, everybody who has offered to admin or moderate my channels. All of the friends and family who has supported the whole idea and the whole system and setup of this. And... I want to thank you as the viewers, the ones who've watched even now to the end of a not game video that I put out. Thank you so much. You just, retention time is important. There's so many different things you got to keep track of and be honest with you, setting up a YouTube and shooting for a successful YouTube is way more difficult than I anticipated. And this is when I anticipated it a year ago through lots of research, ideas, getting it started, things falling on its face, scheduling. I am now to the point where I'm like, I got this and I'm ready. If you are going to dislike my videos, I understand. I, I'm not going to just die on the inside over it, but please leave some sort of constructive criticism and ideas. Now I understand that there are some things that I can't do or can't fix like my face but I'd like and appreciate honesty to where I can help work with the channel and make it grow. I believe constructive criticism is important, you know, in the growth and understanding of people who make art, like videos, you know? I myself might not be an artiste, but I very much would like to be a YouTuber and then an artiste. It depends. <laughs> Thanks again so much. You guys are amazing. And I just, I can't wait. I can't wait to just see where I am at the end of this next month. Thanks again for tuning in. Mango out.